Today I'll be summarizing one of the toughest lessons of this unit, scaling and area. So today's goal is I can describe how the area of a scaled copy is related to the area of the original figure and the scale factor that was used. So in class, we looked at these cool pattern blocks. All right, you were challenged to look at these and try to determine if you wanted to increase the size to be twice as long, three times as long, four times as long, etc. how many blocks it would take. So this has an area of one rhombus unit. If we wanted to increase the side lengths twice as big and create a similar figure, it actually took four blocks, not just two blocks. Looking at the triangle, that also took four blocks if we wanted to make it twice as long. When we would did three times as long, it went all the way up to nine blocks. We also looked at that trapezoid, this was the tricky one. And it was the same idea, four to make it twice as long, nine made it three times as long, 16 made it four times as long. And we are looking at these relationships between the side length and the scale factor there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this chart and we'll talk about some conclusions. Right, you probably notice that you just multiply the scale factor by itself to get that area relationship each time. So we're going to take s times s to get s squared. So we looked at those patterns and I want you to use it to see if the scale factor from a to b is 3, how many times larger is the area of b than a? So what we think based on the pattern that we saw is it should be not just 3 times larger but we think it should be 3 times 3 or 9 times larger. Let's go ahead and check here because this is a scale factor of three, you can see. So if we go ahead and find the area of each of these two rectangles, the first one has an area of one times two or two square units, the second one three times six is 18 square units, and we can see that two times nine is 18, so indeed this is nine times larger. So can we create a general formula, something that's just generic? If the scale factor from A to B is X, how many times as large is the area of A, of B, excuse me, than the area of A? So what we noticed is that the scale factor always kept getting multiplied by itself. So it should be multiplied by x by x to get that the area of B will be x squared times as large compared to the area of A. All right, I want you to quiz yourself now. If all the dimensions of a scaled copy are 10 times as long as in the original shape, will the area of the scaled copy be 10 times as large? Why or why not? I hope you said no. It will actually be 100 times as large because each dimension is getting multiplied by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. All right, and this is the really challenge that all my students had the most trouble with in the past. If the scaled copy's area is 25 times larger than the original area, what scale factor was used. All right, if you thought deeply about this, I hope you arrived at the scale factor of five. The reason being is five times five is 25. So if the area is 25 times larger, you're looking for the square root of 25 or what number multiplies by itself to get that 25. All right, so today's key idea, when the side lengths of a similar shape are multiplied by any scale factor, the area is multiplied by the scale factor squared.